Welcome to Bulwark, a game about chaotic creativity. No conventional controls, one button to paint the landscape, another to move about. And while you paint towers and walls, people will start to make the world come alive. Keep building, that's the trick. This can be confusing at first, overwhelming even. But don't worry, there's also no mistakes. This is the campaign mode. Here you get a taste of the open world building sandbox. It has a basic tutorial, a resource system based only on distance rather than how much you can produce, and an ever expanding set of encounters, world events, and unlockables. A word of advice, click and build everywhere. There are no mistakes and slowly figuring out what builds where and how things grow is part of the game. It's about experimenting. So don't be afraid and go wild. Our people were wrecked during the War of the Tree. Dunkel, Castellus, Moorbridge, and even Port Remit. Nothing remained of our prosperous free houses after decades of attrition. We took what we had and left in order to resettle in peace away from the warlords and fiefdoms that remain. We will succeed because on our backs the past was built and from our hands the future will be wrought. Ah, you're finally here. We've already built a few essential buildings. I'll assist you in connecting things up and getting the settlement up and running. While you're on the ground, we will focus on a single building at a time. This will allow you to build outward in a variety of ways and upwards later on. First, Connect this outpost to the woodmill, which is located down in the shallow water beside the sea tree fungi. Without wood, we cannot build. Notice how workers are already building houses and industry along the walkway. Wherever you build and our workers can reach, they will settle. Let's now focus on the woodmill. This is your woodmill. It produces and transports wood across walkways. Let us build a basic wooden tower with a walkway towards it. You just built a basic tower. It is used to connect up your settlement and transport vital resources. Workers will also build homes and industry around it. Wood can only travel a limited number of walkways away from the wood mill, but this can be increased by encouraging workers to build along walkways connected to the wood mill. Good work. The woodmill is now delivering wood further than before, so we can move on. Across from the woodmill, we also built a stone quarry. Let's connect that to our settlement. Great job. Now we have access to the quarry, our wooden towers can be upgraded to stone.
This resource extractor is missing access to workers. This stone quarry works similarly to your wood mill. It produces stone that can travel a limited number of walkways. We can use this stone to upgrade various buildings and walkways. And, just like the wood mill, by allowing workers to build around it, the stone industry can expand. Great job. Now we have access to the quarry, our wooden towers can be upgraded to stone. Stone towers create stone walkways. If you rebuild a walkway adjacent to a stone tower in place of a current wooden one, it will be upgraded to stone. Select your outpost so we can start expanding it further. Outposts can be upgraded as well. Let's use the stone to upgrade the outpost to its second stage. We can add foundations to basic towers and outposts. These allow workers to build a higher class of housing on them, increasing the work output. There is no iron available for this upgrade. We can add foundations to basic towers and outposts. These allow workers to build a higher class of housing on them, increasing the worker output. The worker output of our outpost can be improved further by connecting more towers and walkways to it. All towers allow for foundations, wood, stone, and later, command towers. Command towers also allow for battlements. We have done well. It is time we started being more ambitious. Take to the skies and seek out iron ore. We have reached a milestone in population, aligning with the free houses. This will attract new free house captains and commanders to our banner. The free house folk are numerous and will generally make for the majority of people in our settlement. We have done well. It is time we started being more ambitious. Take to the skies and seek out iron ore.
There is no iron available for this upgrade. We have done well. It is time we started being more ambitious. Take to the skies and seek out iron ore. Your surveyor allows you to build resource extractors, harbors, and outposts on other islands. It will also help to get you out of trouble, which is never far on the Earth Sea. Your surveyor can build a mine on this spot. Workers will mine for ore, and the metallurgical industry will be built up around it. Iron will allow our most advanced towers and buildings. We now have access to iron, but it needs to be transported across the water. Let us build a trade route for ships that can transport iron and other resources back and forth. Several captains are now available. Each captain hauls specific resources. For this trade route, iron is required, but wood is also recommended to expand the mine later. carry iron and workers for our industry. The iron I transport is helping our settlement grow and prosper. I will carry stone and workers only, nothing else. My ship only carries wood and workers. This isn't the best use of my vessel. Find me a better route. Harbors always need to be built as pairs. As soon as you build two, a trade route will connect them. Captains will carry your resources over vast distances. Select your outpost so we can start expanding it further. You cannot build a harbor this close to another harbor. Select your outpost so we can start expanding it further. With iron, we can start building defensive structures such as imposing command towers. But before doing so, we need to upgrade our outpost into a proper citadel. With all major resources now at our disposal, let's focus on building command towers. These can be built with multiple floors as well as additional foundations and balconies.
You have no available resource extractor. With all major resources now at our disposal, let's focus on building command towers. These can be built with multiple floors as well as additional foundations at... There is no stone available for this upgrade. With all major resources now at our disposal, let's focus on building command towers. These can be built with multiple floors as well as additional foundations and balconies. You cannot build here. There is no tower with access to wood nearby. With all major resources, you cannot expand further without access to wood. Scout around with your surveyor to look for sea tree fungi and build a wood mill next to it. Then connect it to where you want to expand. With all major resources now at our disposal, let's focus on building command towers. I will carry stone and my ship carries wood. Things are good. have no available resource extractors. You have no available resource extractors. With all major resources now at our disposal, let's focus on building command towers. These can be built with multiple floors as well as additional foundations and balconies. Mighty command towers have the potential to reach high into the sky. Their height can be increased by adding more foundations as well as having better access to wood. Build this tower as high as possible. have no available commanders on your roster. Commanders and their valuable retinue can be found across the Ursi. This command tower is looking stout. We already have an experienced warbird commander among our retinue. Let's assign them to this command tower. Fine estate, not since the heyday of the War of the Tree. In service to our people, our retinue of falconeers is eager to settle in and get their warbirds airborne. Do not rest assured, friend. My warbirds are the strongest and fastest. My stable mixes Sarkanda and 
northern grey dive traits. Warbirds, the likes of which have not been seen for decades. This tower and its commander now stand watch over our settlement. Their forces will deploy, joining our battle group when the surveyor is near the command tower. Our settlement is established. We have access to resources, a citadel, and command towers. It's time to explore the surrounding area, finding more people that will help us thrive. These are desperate times, so we may need to accept unlikely neighbors. But be wary of who you invite in. If they bring their old allegiances, conflict is sure to follow. Now it's all up to you. Head out and explore the Ursi. Rebuild our society as you see fit. Protect yourself and our citizens well. Good luck. You have no available resource extractors. Additional forces have joined our battle group. I will carry stone and workers only. Nothing else. It brings me joy to see our settlement thriving. No more restless nights for me. You have no available resource extractors. You have no available resource extractors. We have reached a milestone in population, aligning with the free houses. This will attract new free house captains and commanders to our banner. The free house folk are numerous and will generally make for the majority of people in our settlement. available resource extractors. There is no stone available for this upgrade. There is no stone available for this upgrade.
you have no available resource extractors. Rest assured, friend, my warbirds. What's more valuable than a warm hearth in these bleak times? Well, look no further. Master fabricator of boilers and heated houses at your service. Had some minor mishaps at my previous patron, but I assure you, I can deliver fabulous Mark II heated houses. <sighs> What's more valuable? <sighs> resource colony ahead. You have no available resource extractors. You have no avail. This wood mill and all of its C3 production are for the Banalus. And the raid before trade? But we lost some good fighters. How about you send over some workers to the trade arbor and we can send some wood in exchange? A trading harbor requires resources that can then be exchanged for goods or mercenaries. Be sure to build a connecting harbor. Assigning the right captains that will provide the required outgoing and exchanged incoming resources. You cannot build a harbor this close to another harbor. I will carry stone and workers only, nothing else. 
brings me joy to see our settlement thriving. No more restless nights for me. We are prospering. But this prosperity is attracting criminals wishing to target our trade routes. We need to start taking our trade route security seriously. Trade routes that are long, resource rich, or run past unaligned faction settlements are at increasing risk of being raided. Pirates are raiding one of our trade routes. Send your flagship to deal with them. We have won the day. It's too deep here to build anything. A walkway going across the front of a harbor will obstruct ships. Make sure it connects to the rear side. You cannot build on top of the sea tree fungi. You have no available resource extractors. 